Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a trigger to switch to a different scene in Unity. So, don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to my channel, and with that in mind, let's get to work. So the basics of this is actually relatively simple. I have two scenes which are the exact same scene, just a little bit different, so we can tell that we've switched scenes. The first one is this one. And this is just a nice little thing I've got from the asset store named Stylized and Nature Environment. And scene two is pretty much the same thing, but brighter. So it looks a little bit crazy. So to get this working correctly, we have to establish which scene is the first scene, which scene is the second scene. And obviously, if you have multiple scenes, the same process and principle would apply for every single scene. So we need to go to File, Build Settings, make sure we're in the first scene here and click on Add Open Scenes. That will be scene zero as dictated by this number right here. If we go into our second scene, we do the exact same. File, Build Settings, Add Open Scenes. And again, this has a one. So this is scene number one. If we go back to our first scene and let's set up a trigger, let's say somewhere between these trees, which takes us to the second scene. So right click, create C Sharp script. And we'll have this as scene switch. Open up in a Visual Studio, or if you're using an older version of Unity, Modern Develop, or pretty much anything, the scripts are going to be the same. So at the top, underneath using Unity Engine, we actually need to insert our own namespace here for scene management. So using Unity Engine dot scene management, and you can see it already auto filling. Semicolon. Now this is actually a lot easier than you would think because we don't need void start, we don't need void update. All we do need is a method for on trigger enter. So void on, if I can spell, trigger enter. And it doesn't need to be private so we can get rid of that. And in here, all we need to type now is scene manager dot load scene and in brackets the number that you want to load so you remember earlier we had a zero as the first scene the one we're in now and one as the second scene the one we want to move to so one close bracket semicolon and save so if you were going to scene two it would be two three four five you just need to make sure that the number corresponds with whatever scene you want to move to so now let's create that trigger i'm going to place it between these two trees right here just to make things a little bit simple because our player is just here so let's go game object 3d object cube and let's bring this cube into place around about here so it's going to be quite long maybe about there uh, i'll turn off the mesh renderer so it's invisible so it doesn't look big box in the middle of uh, the place uh, tick is trigger right there in the box collider and then drag and drop switch scene script over here and now if we press play, we should be able to head over to here and switch scene. So there is our trigger. And obviously we're in the second scene now. As we can see, it's a lot lighter. So if I turn the cube back on for the mesh renderer, we can see it's still the trigger because we have it triggered there. And obviously the script is on trigger enter, we switch scene. So as soon as we touch it, we switch to that second scene. It's actually quite useful in a lot of different ways because it doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere that you can, you know, kind of switch a scene like that. You could always have this underneath, down here, really, you know, stretch it, make it huge for whatever reason because it's still going to act as a trigger. So in this case, if we were to fall off, we'd switch a scene like that. And again, turn the uh, rendering off so it doesn't look a bit silly with a big cube like that. But you can see the principle of what's happening here. That trigger still exists and we can change our scene just by going into that trigger. So I hope that's helped, guys. I hope that makes a little bit of sense and hopefully you can use it in a relative manner. Guys, thank you very much for watching.